What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Scott and I'm Savannah and we are here at Disneyland because we're going to be trying something. We we're here at Rope Drop like a little bit five minutes later so we're going to be trying to ride as many rides as we can without Genie Plus. It's been, I'd say since Rise of the Resistance since they've been here since Rope Drop would that be fair to say? Um, but yeah we're going to try and see how many rides we can ride and check out the updates on the park so let's go have ourselves a great day. We're first kicking off our day here in Adventureland because there's an attraction closing for a few months next year. Kicking things off with Indiana Jones Adventure, one of my favorites. So I guess we're not going to ride Indy right now. It actually broke down as we were getting in line and it says in the app temporarily closed. Which means it's probably down for yeah. a while. So we're just going to hop out, go ride everything else while it's low weights right now instead of wasting our whole morning in a broken line. Yep. And this is I'm this is one of those raw vlogs like we haven't done it in a while so I'm kind of like excited for this because we never just vlog to have fun at Disneyland in specific <laughs> since we come so much yeah. we're just here filming updates uh, not that we don't have fun but we never like vlog like fun like this so this is kind of just gonna be like a raw vlog you see stuff like this where we try to ride something and then it just breaks down one thing that's not down right now knock on wood on a mansion holiday. Yeah, it's practically a walk-on, like as far as into the stretching room goes. After Haunted Mansion holiday, now Indy's back open. So round two through the queue. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to say. You know what that is? Let's go get that dino. <laughs> Next we got Big Thunder Mountain, which is posted at 30 minutes, but it's definitely not 30 minutes at all. I'd say right now it's about 9.30, so an hour and a half in since the park opened. We've done three major attractions. We're making some good time. One thing that we actually haven't done this holiday season, which we're about to go do right now, is it's a small world holiday, which just opened up. It was delayed this morning. Just opened up, five minute wait. Probably gonna be a walk on now, so I'm excited. And of course, because of copyright, it's just gonna be all music playing over the ride. Let's, let's switch it up. Let's do some like hardcore metal music or something, maybe even some rock music. Too much, but there's a quick uh, Runaway Railway update as far as the El Capitan Theater literally opening in um, a little bit over a month, so not too long. But that facade looks complete. I'm about to put myself through torture just for Savannah because we're about to ride Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage, and it's the first time that we've been on it since its big closure. So, what before the pandemic, like 20 I've only, I've only been on it once here ever. So. So yeah, probably 2019, 2018. All my time's been on this, I've never been sat on the edge, like look at my knees. <laughs> this is sort of the steps on it. I did not know that. It's a good thing that I have relatively shorter legs in a way. Thanks. Our destination today is quite extraordinary and 
more like coral looks a lot more okay. bright and vibrant. He's very pretty. Right. Let's resume speed. 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 It definitely looks a lot more vibrant in there. Very, you can see a lot more of the scenes, a lot more pretty. Um, I don't really see this sticking around if there is that rumor tomorrow on overhaul. Like I think this will be the first to go. However, it's it's a it's a fun attract. You know, it's, it's unique, just not one of my favorites. We are now five attractions in. It's about 10:15ish, so they a pretty good time without Genie Plus, of course, because I'm so big on anti Genie Plus and Lightning Lane, which they have been making changes to it. So one could hope that maybe it will go away very, very soon, but it's Disney, so you never know. Also, we could probably do a lot more attractions if we are go, 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 but since we are locals and we come here all the time, we're not so much like we need to hit every attraction, but I'd say today was a pretty successful morning already. Today's still going, it's not too busy here at Disneyland. The week before, uh, locals winter break, so it's kind of a nice day here at Disneyland. Time for another day of winning on Astro Blasters. I was halfway maxed out. Halfway! Alright, next ride is going to be the Mark Twain, because this technically counts as a ride. It wouldn't be a ride on the Mark Twain without some duck sightings. Look at her down there, cruising along. take a break from riding all the attractions and make our way over to Trader Sands because it is a short walk away right now. So I'm gonna go enjoy some drinks over there and I think for the holidays they kind of theme up the area and whatnot. So let's go ahead to the Disneyland Hotel and enjoy the Tiki Bar. We made it into the Tiki Bar, sitting here on the bar right now and I'm getting myself a zombie without the Tiki Mug so you can order these drinks without the souvenir Tiki Bugs. You don't want them, it's just you want it a little bit cheaper. Um, the one that I tried last time, I think, was the Tiki Tiki Rum one over there. It was pretty good, not one of my favorites, but the zombie looks really good. But you can't beat the vibes here in Trader Sam's, especially during the Christmas time. They deck it out so nicely, and they're always so friendly in here. I gotta say, this, I, I, what I like about the zombie is it kind of sends your taste buds on a trip. Like, at first, it's very bitter, and then as you let it sit, you get that nice cream taste to it. I, I like this a lot. It's probably one of my favorites here. And Savannah got what's deemed as the strongest one, since we're used to drinking the earthquakes at Lamplight, which are fairly strong. Now the thing with Savannah is she can do the strong drinks and not give that like weird face, you know? Like <laughs> with me, I'm like, eh, I don't know if I like it. But I tasted it and it's not that bad. It's would, definitely um, a throat burner. It is? But After th drinking it a little bit more? I mean, it's like, it's really strong, so obviously it's gonna burn your throat, yeah. but I like it. So. Yeah, it's rum, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think everything in here is um, rum, but honestly, like for me, like I said, well, I, I don't necessarily do strong drinks at all. That wasn't that bad. Now time to head back to California Adventure since it's park hopping time after some delicious drinks over there. We're sitting at six attractions right now, so like I said, we're a little bit slower just because we're not on the, the go, 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 but I want to try to at least hit 10. Like Mermaid will definitely be an easy one. Hoping Guardians, maybe Racers, because I'll also be closing in January. Well, we're a little bit all over the place in this vlog as I prepared you guys in the very beginning. We were going to come get on a Web Slingers, however, it was posted at 50 minute on the app and I was like, you know, let's go see because sometimes the app doesn't match up to the actual wait time. It definitely looks like it's 50 minutes. It stretches around the building, so I'm thinking we're probably only going to be able to get one ride in here at California Adventure and that being Monster Inc. since we can use the Buddy Pass system since it's just Savannah and I today. But yeah, um, not that much of a success over in DC just because now the crowd's starting to flow in compared to the success that we had in Disneyland in the first couple hours. Here we go, probably our last ride of the day here, which is Monsters Inc. 
was a brand new, freshly painted facade. All right, at least we can say we got one ride in here on our California Adventure. If you guys don't know what the Buddy Pass is, you can essentially ask the cast members up front if they have any Buddy Passes available, and it's just groups of two. So you can just come up to the front, it's just to help them split up the uneven rows, I think. I don't know the exact reason for it, but I just know that Monsters, Inc. is one of those ones that offers a Buddy Pass. It's essentially like single rider just for buddies. Oh, boo, we gotta get you home. Festiveness here. Always watch you. Moving along, people. Before heading out, I wanted to make a pit stop in one of the stores down Hollywood Street as they have merch for the Disney 100th celebration, which is going to be company wide, both at Disneyland and at Walt Disney World, hence the opening of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway on January 27th. That's when the celebration kicks off. I got a nice mug here, a cup. Here's what the front of that spirit jersey looks like. I think that they do have a lounge fly and some ears, so let's go on the hunt for those. Here are the ears on the, uh, not the Elias and Co, but the opposite side of Buena Vista Street. The Disney 100 ears, and they're really pretty. They're all bedazzled on the actual ear part, and then they got a bow. Oh my goodness. It kind of reminds you of like the Epcot ball in a way. <laughs> yeah. Of course with the Disney 100 logo in the middle, so Savannah's trying to pick out a perfect pair right now that looks clean and most prettiest. And well everyone, that's going to do it for our visit here. Sorry for the kind of like all over the place <laughs> vlog. We just kind of wanted to have a fun day, like I said. And it was a fun day. Did you have a great day? I had a great day. We rode a couple of rides, we rode a total of seven with no Genie Plus, getting here in the morning, and then like having some, uh, a lot of breaks to make yeah. But DCA is the only thing that got really busy. Um, but anyways, my name is Scott. And I'm Savannah. And you've been watching Exploring Attractions, Positivity is Key. And most importantly, Remember Team Exploring. Peace out, everybody.